homemade pancakes from scratch. Ooh, yes. We got some sausage patties and some fried eggs. Let's <laughs> <Mr. Yo. laughs> Yes. To my sister Laura. Uh huh. So you asked me the question how many pancakes was it gonna make? Yes. How many I made? Oh, how many did you count? Uh uh. I made however many I made. Uh, <laughs> That's how many. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't count. Technically, I went and raised with a big, with a big family. Uh, it was just me and my older two sisters. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I no, I just because there's so there were so many kids in our family. Mm -hmm. My older sister, two sisters, my older two sisters both had three kids apiece, and moved to Florida. I used, I used to always cook for an army. When I cook, I cook. I, can't, I don't know how to make small portions when I cook. I thought we'd leave it at 10. In the leave it at 10. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was 10. We'd leave it at 10. I'm missing y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're leaving, we're, leaving, we're leaving at 10. From now, 10, right? That's their problem. That's why they keep it stuff together. Yeah, they're trying to get it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Trying to collect them some moon back. Yeah, you know that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, that nine won't be like that. <laughs> Huh? When? Can nobody say nothing about Oxtails? Ain't no. You told me? Or you told Frank? Because you, you, you told Frank, you ain't told me. But um, it just all depends. Um, for about hmm, mm, it be it be so like between. Five, three to five big ones in the pack. And um, they'd probably be about, what? Mm, about $9. Oh, but then make them little bitty pancakes. I mean, let me make them little bitty oxtails. They're big, they're big ones. Oh, how much a, a medium box, a small box? That's mm, so they don't sell them by the boxes like that. <laughs> <laughs> Give them some that syrup. Mm -mm. Oh. Well, I want that. I want that side. When y'all coming up this way? Come on, uh, 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 talking about brandish. I'm not talking about brandish. Time I have my cool up, I just have some eyes and put on eyes. Mm -hmm. Y'all coming Sunday? We coming to Troy? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, I ain't gonna be at the commissary by then. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we just get yeah, back. Right. We gonna be back tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. When y'all got to come back to the dog? To the um, what? Come here, he be home. Who? <laughs> you work Monday through Friday, don't you? Mm -mm. You don't work anymore? To, until oh. the 17th. Because we have the early little be the babies. I call them little be the babies. Well, you can just come up to Dothan and then we can go together. Oh, this where you get them from, Dothan? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Time to dope and we can go together to Fort Rooker. Mm. Mm. How close are you to Fort Rooker? Mm -hmm. You're probably close to Fort Rooker. Mm. But <laughs> if you are, then you can. You don't have to be. So you can't get enough. You'll, have, you'll probably have to park your car somewhere because you can't get on the um, on the base without me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sam, they be high. Sam, 
They don't have them. Oh, At least I ain't seen them. But if they did have them, I ain't buy them from them. Mm -hmm. I, I can get a better price at other places. I guess I could have put y'all on the stand, y'all, but I'm being late this morning. Sorry. I never met your dad. My dad knew your dad. My dad knew your dad. But I never met your dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my dad knew your dad. My dad knew your dad. I never met your dad. Yeah. Right, took him down to Cottonwood a couple times. They had their uh, little boy. Look at that. Never met your dad. Uh, but my dad knew your dad from way back. Young, yeah. And you got some money to real good in football. Uh, <laughs> but everybody knew my dad. <laughs> but yeah. We know it. Uh, we know it. What? I wonder what I'm all at. No, don't stop here. I'm gonna make the money with the cheesecake. There you go. Oh, we're going to the cheesecake fight. Oh, cheesecake fight. Yes, I think that's on our way back. Uh huh. On our way back, we'll stop. I would do a cheesecake to do a fight. I feel it. For real? Well, you gotta do it on a skillet. Okay. Um, like a flat skillet? Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And um, well, you do it on any non stick, yeah, really. And then you just put, crack the egg when it reaches the top, and then let it simmer. I kind of like scoop everything together, and then just flip it over, sprinkle it with salt, pepper, whatever you want to season it with, and then flip it like a flipping pancake. And then, if you want, if you want to bust the yolk, you don't bust the yolk until you flip it over. And when you flip it over, you flatten it and then bust it and then the yolk will bust. But if you want to keep the yolk, you flip it over, you just let it just simmer a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yes. <laughs> See, my dad loved, oh, my dad loved Fridays. My dad would make some good Friday eggs and he would say, yeah, he would come and say, Sheila, make me a Friday egg. I'll do it for him. Now have it ready for him. She did what? She had quit something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I be seeing them videos where your daughter in law be posting stuff and she be helping in the kitchen. She be helping her mom in the kitchen. She did. The people enjoyed it so well. Uh -huh. They sent her some new. Oh, she did a commercial. No, it's that. It's that. Uh huh. The right, to the right. Come <laughs> on. My skirt. I'm took a shower. Yeah. Um. Let me see what else I got to do. Floss my teeth. Brush my teeth. And put on me in some gear. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, put it right there. Put it right there. Oh, if you got something. To Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we headed to the mall. Yes, we're headed to the mall.
Uh, we're at the mall. <laughs> yeah, we're at the mall. Earl's Kitchen and Bar. What kind of place is that? Look at that. Earl's Kitchen and Bar. My chef said we are out away from her. Yeah. Who said that? Hi. Say hi. Hi. Mother, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Hey. All right, you guys. We are going to enjoy. Checking out this mall in Orlando, Florida. Huge mall. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We're minus one, y'all, but she'll be with us. Oh, yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on. Back up. Let's go ahead and take one now. Oh, that is pretty. That is beautiful right there. Just do a video. Come on, you seen it too. Yeah. If everybody just, just look this way, then we all get to get up in here. Oh, no, we're still There's a video right here, though. Y'all ready? <laughs> Is everybody in there? I don't know. Can you see everybody? I think so. Say cheese. <laughs> Woo! We got a video. Oh, I'll, I'll get a picture off the video. I'll get, the, I'll get my picture off the video. Uh -huh. But no, you, you, can take, you, you can take a picture too. I think we took that guy, everybody, when we get the first time. Woo! Oh. Oh. It's hot out here, y'all. It's hot out here. <laughs> you can't take too much, Kevin. Woo! Whoa. Guys, I have mint chocolate chip at the top, and then I have raisin rum raisin at the bottom. It is packed. This is the, the um, hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna get on the elevator. See that? Y'all see? They are right down there, y'all. All the clothes. Yeah, I see them. They got clothes hanging off, but they didn't even know. Yeah, y'all see them down there waiting for us? Did you press the button? One. Oh, shit. I was like, where are you moving? Where are you moving? Is we going down? We going down. Oh. We're going down, 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 down. We're going down, 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 down. No, you go. No, you go. Okay. Yes, we can let you out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, mother fans, let's get out of the video. Oh, you guys. We just came out of the elevator. Oh, oh we got out before. Yep. What is it? What is it? We saw where? Oh, that. No, oh, we had to see him that way. Yeah, but we, because we was over there. Oh. We were looking at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ciao. Mercy. Who that calling now? Barbara Ann. <laughs> so obviously Sister Nikki didn't hear us. <laughs> there they go, y'all. Look at What y'all eating? Cheesecake. Oh. And a refresher. Oh. What you ate? I ain't ate mine yet. Oh! <laughs> I got one, but I haven't made it yet. What y'all ate? What y'all ate? What you ate? Nothing yet. What Cheesecake. You? Oh. What you ate? Nothing, but I'm about to go to P.F. Chang. Ooh. P.F. Chang. Yeah, get that Chinese. Y'all come on in the picture. Oh, if I can get aiming toward us. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. So the office. Y'all get behind us. Make sure everybody in there. 
It don't have some Nikki. Keep behind me, y'all. Uh-uh, don't duck down, girl. You better stand up now. You ain't that, you ain't that tall. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Y'all come get, on in. Get in front of me. Yeah, come, come, come right here. Come, come, come. No, no, come in front of me. All right. I should have had, had, had my extender on. You got longer arms. You got I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to see. Oh, yeah. Oh. Charcoal nights in the Airbnb with spicy nachos. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This guy. Mm. Messing the rice up in there. Brown beef and cheese. Yes. Say that again. Taco Tuesday. Me and Barbara ain't gonna do well in the kitchen together. And that right, Barbara? Ann? We're gonna do well in the kitchen together. We're gonna do well in the kitchen together. Mmm, that rice is perfect, Barbara Ann. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Come around here and sit down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's not what I would taste it. It took us 10 years, but Domino's is finally on your roots. So we're giving away $10 million in free Domino's pizza. What did you just say? Yeah, $10 million in free pizza. Oh, you mean $10 Your mama. She now come down. Your mama. Yeah. What you can't eat them? Oh man.
keep right in front of us. You're gonna find yourself on the wrong side of history. Whatever. And that's real talk. Yeah, it's gonna be whatever. <laughs> God don't like what we found. We ain't too far in the queue. I just think the best gift you can give anyone on your wedding day is the truth. Have you completely lost your mind? You can look no one but yourself. It's what you think about what you do. You think about what people see when you close doors. That's what they all do. I am all of them. That's clear. I was thinking about Sabrina and the garden and the garden. I'm going to break the whole thing. You can get to do it.
ate all my food. Yep. And I'm full. I went hungry, but tacos is light, and it was very good. And I ate all my food. Every last bit of You had it? Mm-mm. The salad, I think it's with the Nikki's. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's it, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy. I'm not going to go. Bye. Irving Gospel, singer, songwriter, actress, and entrepreneur. Remember the famous Clark sisters? Little Miss Karen started singing with her sisters at the age of five. She has released five solo albums and 17 with the Clark sisters. The list includes Finally Karen, Second Chance, The Heavens Are Telling, It's Not Over, All In One, Destined to Win. Awards include three BET nominations, Dove Awards, two awards, eight nominations, Grammy Awards, five awards, NAACP Image Awards, two awards, Soul Train Awards, two awards, Stella Awards, 12 awards, one honorary award. The mother of Kiara, Sheard Kelly, and Jordan. Jay, the son, J. Drew Sheard II, grandmother of three beautiful children. Lady Karen is the first lady of Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ in the city of Detroit. Lady Karen is a licensed evangelist missionary fully persuaded, anointed to deliver the gospel message that Jesus saves, delivers, and set free. Tonight, it is my pleasure to present to you the wife of our chief apostle, presiding Bishop J. Drew Shear. Let, saints, let's stand up all over the building and let's receive our first lady, Karen Clark. Bless you, thank you. Can you give Jesus a standing ovation in the house? Oh, come on, you know he's so deserving. Oh, what he's doing in our lives. God is so good, isn't he? And all the time he's good. You may be seated, God bless you. I am indeed happy to be able to stand here and to greet you. It is a blessing. I would want to say that I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I want to give honor to, of course, uh, this uh, good looking man. Um, giving honor to this phenomenal, distinguished husband, the chief apostle of the church of God in Christ. Can you help me love on my husband, our leader? God bless you. Those of you that are not clapping, if you don't clap in seven days, your feet gonna be hurting. Come on, I need you to clap. I need you to clap. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you don't want your feet hurt because you've been walking all week long. <laughs> Thank God for our leader. We have a leader that has made tremendous. I'm proud of you, husband. He has made tremendous contributions to this honorable church. And I'm not campaigning, let me just get that straight, but I am approving this message, if that's all right. And I give honor to the presidium of this church and to the Jenner Board Wives, the leadership of the Church of God in Christ. And what can I say about our jewel, the convention president, our very own, General Supervisor of the Department of Women of the Church of God in Christ. Please help me, women. Love on our mom. We love you, mom. All of this love, please take it in. Every convention.
please know that you are loved, you are treasured, and you are honored and respected for the work that you put in to build this amazing women's department. We love you so much, and thank you for that welcome that you gave me. I just was thinking about it when I went to bed. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, he got me in this seat, and I don't know what to do with it, but I thank you, Mom, for teaching me, teaching me. I thank you so much, and I want to also honor the first and second uh, super, assistant supervisors, Mother Hugh. The door. Get rid of that junkyard dog. Get rid of that no good man. And you stand up and be a sanctified lady. I know, I know, Medea said get some grits. Uh huh, and y'all know about the grits. But you don't have to get no grits. Just get on your knees and get out. Get on your knees and get out because I know that when you have a talk with Jesus, tell him all about your troubles. But I'm glad to know that I'm a prayer warrior. And the Bible says pray without ceasing. Do I have some prayer warriors in the house? I just want you to do me a favor before you take, I take my seat. Just look down your row and say row. This row.
is popular. But my brothers and sisters, we're putting up with stuff that the old saints never would have put up with. We're watching satanic influences step boldly in the church. And we're busy trying to manage their behavior. But I'm here to tell you tonight that Jesus never told you to manage the behavior of demons. We're trying to psychoanalyze. We're trying to figure out their names. We're trying to figure out where they come from. But Jesus told us to cast the devil out. Amen. Amen. We need Amen. a spirit of discernment to pay attention against Amen. some of this mess. This, this, this is the place that we have drifted to. My brothers and sisters, there is a chilling ignorance that is pervading the church. Religion seems like a dull and languid thing. Sacred flames are nearly extinct. We're going along to get along. There's an awful blank in religious duties. Since the pandemic, many saints have not gotten back to the full throttle in ministry. We're half-heartedly coming to church. We're slothful in our prayer life. And we've forgotten how to fast. The signal of peace of prosperity is ringing in a perturbing way. This signal lets us know that we drifted from God. The full tide of worldly prosperity seems to have set in with a resistless current and thousands are floating on its surface. It is this that causes such or casts such a dark shadow over the prospects of the church. It is causing a prolific source of mischief to the souls of men. Now, the people of God are so intoxicated by the world, so stupefied by indifference, so oppressed by criminal unbelief, until we need the sincere effusions of a divine grace to help us out of our dilemma. Do me a favor, help me preach, I'm almost finished. Look at somebody and say, we're in trouble. Time men are descending to the tombs of hell, and we need help. We need help because we're the ones who are supposed to have the lifeline. We're the ones who are supposed to be delivering them from the portals of hell. We're the ones who are supposed to help them break them bad habits. We're the ones who have been commissioned to go out into all the world and preach an unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, what ought to be done in attempting this great and good work? First church we must repent of our declension. If judgment comes, it must first begin at the house of God before we can start sweeping around somebody else's front door. Touch your neighbor and say, sweep around yours. Gonna mess up here. But for all of those other denominations who are talking about the church of God in Christ, you mind your business. We got this. There must be a spirit of deep humiliation. Don't act like you're all right the way you are. Old Zion, what's the matter now? You don't pray like you used to. What's the matter now? You don't sing like you used to. Preachers, we don't preach like you used to. And then we must mourn our departure from God. I know you're sitting there tonight with that sanctimonious look on your face. But you know you're Amen. not what you used to be. Amen. You don't even lift your hands in church no more. Right? Your feet don't even get light no more. Right? You could shake your 
and then, every now and then. But you know we're so busy playing favorites. We must repent. We must sincerely desire a revival. Do me a favor. Look at somebody and say, we need a revival. We need a revival. We need a revival. Must be excited, dying great. We must have sensible and strong longings for the outpouring of God's Spirit. Church, something must get done in a hurry. We must sincerely and fervently pray for revival. With this solemn truth before us, we must seek God. We must pray habitually. I know we get tired of praying. Somebody asked me, why do you keep calling the church to prayer? Because we need to pray. There's power in prayer. There's deliverance in prayer. And prayer still works. We must do what God says. Church, we need a revival. We must wrestle with God. Like Jacob wrestled with the heavenly representative. Until the break of day, we must weary him. We must not let him go until he blesses our soul. I need to ask you here in the 74th Manual Women's Convention, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? If you want it bad enough, then our actions must be agreeable to our prayers. We must be bold and zealous. We must pay particular attention to the means and opportunities and then we must start looking like it's getting ready to happen now look at your neighbor and say act like it's about to happen now start walking like revival is coming start talking like revival is coming start praising God like revival is coming now tell somebody it's coming it's got it. I'm expecting God yeah. to wake us up yeah. we cannot pray for something yeah. and then act like it ain't gonna happen yeah. if we expect it we will think it we will desire it we will anticipate it we will rely on God for it and then we must pray in faith for it do me a favor tell somebody it's going to happen it's going to happen my children are going to get saved my loved ones are going to get delivered my mother and father are going to be changed come on and look at somebody and say it's going to happen Tell you that when the people of God attempt to promote this revival, we shall succeed. Because after all, God is willing to help us. It is God's own cause on which his eye and heart have been fixed from the early ages of eternity. I gotta tell you that God yet loves his church. Do me a favor and say that God yet loves his church. I realize, I realize, I realize that in the physical church we have a few unlovable people, a few liars hanging around, a few backbiters and gossipers that are hanging around in the physical church. But you must remember before you start trying to put everybody out of the church that that's the object for which the Son of God was stretched upon that accursed tree. This is what the Spirit dwells here for. Then let us bear this subject of religion upon our hearts. We ought to talk about it in our closets, on our jobs, in our homes, in our neighborhood, in the shopping mall, in the restaurant, everywhere we go. Tell your neighbor it's urgent. It's urgent. 
urgent. urgent. We must bury this step yes. in our urgent. mind until yes. the secret fire has been rekindled and it burns deep and lasts long. I heard the old saint say that I wish somebody's soul would catch on fire and burn with the Holy Ghost. I want God to allow the Holy Ghost fire to move in this place because something I learned about the fire of the Holy Ghost you can't sit down on fire you can't act like fire ain't gonna make you move do me a favor I'm almost through grab somebody by the hand pull on them and push them push them and pull them Yeah. 
For I heard the Bible said that if my people were to call by my name, so humble themselves and pray and seek and turn, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Look at somebody and say, Church, Church. we got to pray. We got to pray. We got to pray. Until the languishing places yeah. of God's people have been revived. Yeah. We got to pray until saints become anxious and prayerful. We got to pray until we wake up this earth. Pray until preachers are animated and zealous. Pray until the house of God has been thronged again. Pray until the presence of the Lord is felt in a special manner. Pray until the careless are awakened. Start hearted once do Prodigals reclaim. So their hearts are melted. Souls are converted. And backsliders restored. Let us all go back to the old land. Let us all go back to the old time way. Where we'll, we'll kneel down and pray to God. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, neighbor. modernization is not working. It's not working. We need, we need to pray, to pray. until we get another pinnacle. Uh, Why, brother preacher, do you say we should expect it? For I heard the 33rd chapter of Jeremiah and the third verse say, Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty works which thou knowest not. Jeremiah 29 and 12 said that then shall you call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And then Jesus said in the 11th chapter of Luke, and I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be open. For everyone that asketh, receive it, and he that seeketh, find it, and to him that knocketh, it shall be over. No wonder, no wonder, the old saints used to say, they said if you call on Jesus, he will answer for Look at your name and say, Because God made us a promise. Yeah. 
What's up, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shala and Frank. Come on over and check out our channel, Promo SDK Reality TV, Husband and Wife, where we eat good in the neighborhood. We're a mukbang eating show, cooking and recipes, especially soul food, pranks on Frank. Oh, y'all go check it out. Challenges. Vlogs, comedy skits, short videos, and TikTok. So come on and become our oh yeah baby today. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, promo SDK, promo SDK. Or you can also go to any of our social sites and find us under promo STK. Oh yeah, baby. We can't wait to see you. We can't wait to meet you, so come on over.